LA, we are at the stage where we can start making money with this platform, uh, if that is why you're taking up on this platform. So uh, this is probably the most exciting area um, because, you know, we're making money and this is why uh, I do this, you know, this is why a lot of other people do this. Um, so you know what, let's get into it. So if you head over to products and sales and then click on courses, this is where we can actually create a membership site, okay? Um, this can, the idea of this is to create something like a course, you know, or tutorials, any, anything. Um, that can be related to your business and then on each module each video you can actually create additional purchases and uh, all sorts of things you know just to keep the income coming in so if you are an affiliate of system uh, then ideally you can create drip content which basically means um, you know uh, bits of videos and then you add resources into it, you can add your other affiliate links into it, anything that's going to give your customers, your students, your viewers, more information, better content, more insightful content. And of course, within the video, you can always upsell them or guide them in the right direction. So let's see how this works. So the first time, so the, once you're on um, courses, you would see this, it looks like your course list is empty, create a new one. So let's do that. So the name of this is going to be how to use systemy.io, okay? And this is just going to be the basics of um, using systemy.io. Just put that, okay. So you can see, you can change the page path if you want, but I'm just gonna leave it um, like this for now, uh, purely because this is just a demo account. Um, and you can add a image there. So I'm just gonna use the same image before. And uh, if you want to embed tracking information, what's not, you can do like Google Analytics, et cetera, but, or Facebook Pixel if you're, doing, uh, if you're doing Facebook marketing, but we're just gonna leave it like this for now. And we're going to hit save. So now you can see we're within courses, we've now got our overall course called how to use system IO. And if you see all of this, you've got the edit, you've got the modules in the course, you've got the preview button. So let's go ahead and hit preview. So this was the featured image that I was using before. And you can see you've also got the instructor teacher bio, uh, which is basic information about you, but we'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, so let's click on courses and let's click on the title and now let's add a module so click add module and this is going to be introduction um introduction okay save and lecture in this we get this is going to be overview okay and um i'm not going to do uh a delay on this i'm just going to keep it as, as it is i can upload an image you know if i wanted to but the page type is going to be a video so i'm going to hit save and you can see we're back into that live editor which is really handy and what i'm going to drag this underneath the overview and now you can see um or should i pull it there yeah that looks better so overview which is here and i can change the title if i want if I click on the video, which is because uh, it's going to be a video tutorial and click the gear icon, you can see on the left hand side, I can embed it or put the link here. And uh, ideally, you'll probably upload them everything onto YouTube as unlisted. So you so no one can actually see them. And then you'll put the YouTube URL here. And uh, so you know, what, let's just head over to YouTube. And let's just let's go here. Let's take um, I don't know, let's take this, copy link address, head over back to our editor, paste this in like so, autoplay, no, controls, do we want controls on, and I'll do on, show info, I'm going to keep that off, okay, and that's basically that, I'm going to save changes, let's preview it, and you can see just like that, bang, you've got your video, you've got your overview, but we can take this further and we can do this by, we can add uh, all sorts of different sort of information. So let's say for this specific video, you want to get people into uh, your Facebook group, you can add Facebook comments, 
um you know you can show uh what else um let's add in a bullet list okay so you can even edit these so if you want to be more detailed step one do this okay step two click here okay so do you say um let me just click on this. What's going on here? Ah, type in your URL, just like so. Enter, click here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the content box, okay. And within the context box, you can add um, again other things, so text, uh, and just click on this, okay. And then you save the changes, view it again. And just like so, you can see uh, you've got everything you need to do. So if you want to provide them more information, comments, you know, click here. It's a clickable link. You've got the video, the overview. And let's say you wanted to play with, um, you want to add some more space. So you'll click on the video just, and then top, just like so. Let's say you want to add some space to the header. Again, you do the exact same thing, top and bank. Okay, save changes, review again. And you see you've now got some space there okay and this is really how how fantastic is this as you can already see there's actually you're creating a full-blown course with such ease um i mean <laughs> i i know that when you're um trying to create courses because that's what i do i create online courses for people um you know, if you use someone like Udemy, they take 50% of what you're trying to earn. You know, uh, this is very low cost, this software. And if you are into creating courses or tutorials or anything, it pretty much pays for itself almost immediately. I mean, you don't really get better than this. It's it's actually quite exciting. Um, you know, what, what else can we do? Let's have a look. Okay, so you can embed things, you can add audio in, you can add a button. So, you know, if, let's add this button in and click here, oh, let's just change that. And you can see on the left, again, you've still got all your navigation and everything. And what do you want them to actually do? Now, if you want to send them, if you want to sell them something, um, then all you do, action, so open URL, and you would link the next page, payment page. You know, if, if you're charging per video, you know, so let's say you're charging 10 pounds, or 9.99 per video. Um, so you can do something like this. So let's change the text. So click on that and uh, head down to the text. Purchase next course. Okay. 9.99. Oh, uh, 9.99. Okay. And all you do is open URL or next step, whatever, however we set it up. Okay, open a new window and, you know, whatever the URL is, you know, whatever the page that you want to connect it to, just do, uh, paste that in. So this is going to be something like slash um, video two, okay, uh, course X. So now when they click on that, it will take them to the payment page and it will unlock the next thing once they pay. Do you, do you see there's so many possibilities here? Okay. Um, or you can send them to another funnel, enter their information if they're interested in a specific sort of thing. It's really limitless, and you can see just how simple this really is. So again, let's view it. Just going to close all of this, and you can see, bang, just like that, and it will open up in a new tab. Whatever. I've, now, obviously, I've not got the link in there, but you can see, bang, just like that. I mean, how simple, how easy, and how nice does that look? And you can make it nicer and nicer, and it's just, it's actually really nice to use. It's quite refreshing. Um, so now let's exit out of the editor. I'm just going to close this. And we can, we've got two options. So if you want the exact same format, all you've got to do is duplicate. And now you can see we've got, so if we duplicate it again. So now if we want to edit it, edit lecture content. So, oh, my apologies, let's go back. And uh, how do we edit lecture settings? And we want to change this to 
In fact, we don't actually want that. We want to add a new module, and this is going to be called. Um, uh, so, what what do we want? Um, we want under no. We want um, understanding. What do we, what do we want? We want um, module one. Okay, we're going to save, and you can see that's now collapsed. And if you click the arrow here, you can see. And let's just drag this over here. Why is it not dragging? Ah, there we go. OK, so just drag it all the way down like so. And now you've, you've sorted out your introduction. And now we've got module one. And this one we're going to call, instead of overview, well, one of the first things that you're going to cover in the course that I'm providing is the dash, well, in this course is dashboard, okay? So understanding the dashboard, the dashboard, okay? And um, again, you can add an image in there, bang, just like that. Then we'll go to edit lecture content. And all we would do is change the UR, is change the YouTube video add the new information in, bang, save changes. And that's really how you just do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, again, add a module. OK, we're going to call it module two, save. I'm going to send that down, quickly edit the settings and just call this um, contacts. Oh. Understanding contacts, okay, and again, um, save, bang. Okay, so let's just go ahead and preview this. And now you can see you've got your course here, you've got the overview, which is all of this. Bang, you've got module one, you know, so it's all linking together really nice. And you can see my dashboard here, understanding contacts. And because we didn't add anything into module two, so let's just add something to module two. So we're just gonna do test. And you know, you can do text as well. So let's click on that. And you can see just text like this. We're gonna save, exit. Okay, and now preview again, scroll down and you can see test and bang. Okay, so it's all really exciting and it looks really clean. Um, so your students, your clients, anyone who you use this for will understand it uh, fantastically. Okay, so that is how you build a membership site.